Hello and welcome back to another quick video. Uh, today I just need to mod a activity LED onto this compact flash to IDE adapter. Um, although this has been a fantastic device, it doesn't appear to have provisions for the front panel connector um, for the LEDs on the case. Um, so basically I'm going to rob a header um, that's not been used from um, an old sound card. Thankfully this is just a PC speaker connector um, and it's something I don't actually use on these sound cards so you know easily replaceable if needed and given I'm not using it it'll be best suited for uh, this application. So I'm just going to start here by adding some fresh solder to the joints to try and get them to flow better. I'm going to try and just um, remove the header as a whole to make it easier. As you can see, I managed to get it out without an issue, but I really should have used um, a bigger tip. So the LED I need to remove is that green one in the middle there. Um, it's just the activity LED. Uh, once again, I'm just going to add some fresh solder to see if I can just remove the LED. Um, having some trouble though, so I'm using some solder wick to try and um, soak it all up and get the LED out cleanly. Um, for some reason, probably due to my skills, or lack of skills, um, I couldn't get the LED out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, pre-tin the legs on the header, and I'm actually just going to piggyback off the back of the card to that LED. Every time I um, start one of these projects I'm reminded that I need to get uh, some sort of clamp or arms to hold this in. Um, if you're doing anything like this I recommend getting something like that. It makes it so much easier to keep things in place. Joints are looking good, no cold solder joints or anything and nicely flow. Uh, next I'm just going to do some 90s cable management. Uh, most of the time these little AT cases are not great for cable management, um, so I'm just going to zip through here while I can. I'm running this part in uh, real time so you can see the struggles of getting something as simple as a power connector and uh, one of these cases fitted. Uh, I wasn't kidding that sometimes I sit back and be a bit uh, picky to deal with. Uh, bring bandages. While I'm in here, I'm just going to reconnect and reroute all the cables from the front panel connectors um, and LEDs just to keep things tidy while I can. And 
there we have it. The header is installed and connected. I'm just going to wrap up the last of the cable management and we can give this thing a test. Hear the sound of the 90s 12 volt fan. So plush, so luxury. Anyway, the uh, LED mod did work, although I'm not sure how good it is to share that power rail with the existing one. I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyway, thanks for watching this uh, Lazy Weekend video.